Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris or Swag Bill here over on the Carnage Clan channel, or you can call me Carnage Swag, whatever you feel like. Today, what I'm bringing you guys today is a double DNA bomb by Carnage Buffalo. Absolute monster. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. He literally deletes singles. Like, I don't get, I've never met, i never seen anyone on Twitter who deletes single DNA bombs. So make sure you guys go check him out. Him and Clues are tearing up the pub stomping scene. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, who's this new voice on the Carnage Clan channel? Well, I used to be in Carnage. Um, I was really inactive for a while, so they kind of, they dropped me off. And then uh, Apollo just picked me up as a commentator, so I'm really excited to do, you know, commentaries for the Carnage Clan. Even though I'm kind of nervous because, you know, there's 130,000 of you, so I feel like I won't be able to please everybody with my commentary, but I just feel like I just got to do my best, so. Um, in the gameplay, you do, make sure you guys go check it out. Double DNA Bomb on Terrace. Absolutely insane using the Battle 27. Best gun in the game. And I believe he's using, like, the nerf version because they nerfed it on the PS3. So, absolutely beast gameplay. Make sure you go check them out and my channel. I do commentaries and I do, you know, pretty decent DNA bombs. You know, vicious metals, all that type of stuff. So, anyways, let me get into the commentary topic. What I want to bring you guys today is just a little more interactive with, you know, the comment the comment section below. I'm going to do the DNA bomb versus the chem strike, the Moab, the nuclear, and what else do I have? The, what else do I have? The nuke. The nuke and MW2. So, anyways, we're going to do categories the most difficult, the most fun. And then we have the most fun to watch on YouTube. So let me get to the most difficult. At number one, we're coming in at the spot with the DNA bomb. Most difficult gun, most difficult kill streak. I mean, it's just really hard. Like honestly, 30 kills without specialists. So it's just really difficult in my opinion. And I feel like the DNA bomb deserves to be at the number one spot. At number two, we have the nuclear. The nuclear is the, is the second most difficult because just for the sheer fact that it's a 30, you know, 30 gun streak. And even though you have the VSAT, it makes it a lot easier. It's still, you know, just for the sheer fact that it's a 30 gun streak, that it should be at the number two spot. Um, at number three, you have the Moab. The Moab was specialist, even though you were a tank, it was still pretty hard to get just because of the lag comp and stuff like that. And then at the number four spot, we have the Chem Strike. Chem Strike was really easy. Um, that not the, really that difficult because of Amplify and Dead Silence. And it was just really fun to get, in my opinion. At the number five spot, we have the Nuke. The Nuke, the reason I have it at the number five spot and it's the least difficult is just for the simple fact that kill streaks were added to it. And it wasn't that very hard to get. I mean, people could get nukes anytime they want. I played MW2 for about two hours and I got my own nuke. So, anyways, moving on to the next category, I had the most fun. Now, everybody knows in the Call of Duty community that the Moab was the most fun to get. No matter what, you were a tank, you were a beast. Moabs were always fun, so satisfying. The team knew you got, the whole enemy team knew that you got this Moab, that you just took a shit on them. And it's just really awesome. I feel like the Moab is just a really good, really good gun streak, a really good kill streak. At number two spot, we have the Chem Strike. Chem Strike, in my opinion, was the second most fun because you have specialists once again. Anytime you have specialists, it's really high up in the fun factor, in my opinion. And the Chem Strike was just really fun to get. The DNA Bomb at number three spot is really fun to get, but it's just the it's just really difficult. That's the only problem with it. Um, it's rewarding because it has its benefits. So you call it in, and it doesn't really ruin the map. You can still see, get, do go on streaks and stuff like that. But I don't think it's just as fun as the Chem Strike or the Moab because it didn't have the specialists. Now, at number four spot, we have the nuke. The nuke's always fun to get. You know, a lot of people always love getting it. Um, just hearing it call it in. The only problem with it was that it's at the end of the game. Like, that was the worst part that it ended the game. And at the number five spot, we have the nuclear. I can't really remember a time where... I, I When I got my first nuclear, I wasn't really excited. Like, out of all these uh, first four, I was really excited to get my first, you know, DNA bomb, Moab, Kim Strike. I wasn't really that excited to get my first nuclear, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And then we have the most fun to watch on YouTube. Now, no matter how long YouTube goes for, I will always enjoy watching it in W3 Moab gameplay, whether it be single, double, any of that type of stuff, because it's just so fun to watch someone go ham with a submachine gun or, or an AR with just specialists and as a tank. It's always fun to watch, in my opinion, it will never get stale on YouTube. Now, at the number two spot, we have the Nuke. The Nuke's really fun to get. It's always been around. MW2 is probably everyone's favorite Call of Duty. Um, it's just for the sheer fact that it's a really fun kill streak, you know, but the only problem is it ends the game But it's really fun to watch to see the AC 130 and, and the Harrier just go ham and it works up to you Those multi kills you get really fun to watch in my opinion at the number three spot We have the chem strike the chem strike was always fun to watch because I don't know It's just it's the, about the honey badger and just get specialist It was always really fun to get when you got your first chem strike I was really excited and it's good to watch on YouTube ghosted all right on YouTube not the best at the number number four spot We have the DNA bomb I don't know why the DNA bomb doesn't do as good on YouTube as in the past, you know, kill streaks. So it's just really weird. I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like that should be at the number four spot. And at the number five spot, we have the nuclear. I can't tell you a time where I sat down and watched a video and say, "Wow, I really enjoyed that nuclear." 
The only one I can really think of is Peaceful Chaos. He used to be in Carnage. He had this like sick, like I don't know, 45 new, 45 second nuclear, and it was really insane. But I can't can't sit down and say I really enjoyed watching that nuclear. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. You know the categories and where you rank these, rank these. You know the Moab and all that stuff. All the highest gun streaks you can get and all the kill streaks you can get. So make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Support Carnage Clan. Make sure you guys go check out Carnage Buffalo. Absolutely amazing player. You know he deletes single DNA bombs. Like you gotta go subscribe to him. And make sure you guys come over to my, if you if you enjoy the commentary, come over and check out my channel. I have good commentaries. You know with really good gameplays. You know DNA bombs. I'm really trying. You know it's really difficult to get DNA bombs. So make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Subscribe to Carnage Clan if you are new. Make sure you guys you know check out their Twitter and YouTube or not Twitter. Check out their YouTube and Twitter and also their Instagram. I don't know why I clan channel on his Instagram, but hey, Apollo's a cool dude. Let him do what he wants. So anyways, leave a like on this video. I'll check you guys out later. Stay humble, stay blessed, guys. Check out me and Buffalo. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. Make an impact on someone's life. I'm out. Peace.